What's going on you guys? It's the start of the week, it's Monday, October 26th. And uh, basically, right now, currently what you're seeing is, we just woke up at Drayden's house and it is 9.59, just about 10 o'clock. Um, I wanted to get to the gym around 10, but I accidentally slept in. That's my, my bad, so fucking, I accidentally set my alarm for 10 minutes. It rolled over and unfortunately, that happened three extra times. So, we're a little behind schedule, but fuck it, because, I mean, why not? It's Monday, we're in no rush, and basically, I still have to get a quick meal in. So, what I'm gonna do for my pre-workout today is, as you can see, I brought all my meals here. So, we got six ounces of lean turkey, we got half a cup of rice, no veggies, because I just, I ran out of veggies and need to go get more today, so unfortunately, that's what we're, that's what we're gonna have to deal with today, so. And then our second meal, we have, as you can see, we got six, or I think this is actually an eight ounce chicken breast. We got a third of a rice in the bottom there with no veggies again. As I said, I uh, low key ran out um, yesterday when I was making these meals. So unfortunately, we're gonna have to go veggie free today. And uh, hey, your boy's not complaining. Every day that we do eat according to our diet, obviously we eat about three to four servings of veggies a day. Um, and aside from that, another meal. So we got meal three here and we got just there's six eggs in there, so that's usually what I eat for my breakfast. So I usually eat six eggs, um, and then down here. So immediately after our workout, um, Todd's been Todd's been beating me up over it lately. <laughs> I've got a really bad habit of training fasted and then low key waiting off about an hour until our workout's finished to actually eat and get the real meal in. So. Todd's forcing me to start packing bags of protein powder with peanut butter for immediately post after the workout. And honestly, it's been making me feel really, really good. So I'm not gonna stop. And then for today's choice of pre, we basically were just about running low, but we got Iron Brothers Ruthless pre-workout type shit. And uh, I don't know, man, it's just, it's just different type of vibe. It just kind of gets you all going, gets your blood flowing and shit. It's not really like a pump product by all means, but it's more so just like one of those ones where it wakes you up and tells you to smart the fuck up and get absolutely grimy with it. So we're going to probably use that. And then, yeah, post-workout, like I said, there's just a tablespoon of peanut butter in this and two scoops of isolate protein. So honestly, with that introduction I just did, I honestly could do like a literal full day of eating, you know, based off of what I'm doing for my diet right now, because that's literally it. Um, I don't eat anything special right now. Like I literally fucking eat one of those meals, like the chicken and rice, like four times a day. I eat eggs, I eat a fucking shake, and then I eat some tilapia. <laughs> That's basically it, but currently as of now, we're about seven weeks out, so, you know, things are starting to, things are starting to take a turn. Or aside from that, we gotta get ready for the gym, so we got Drayden behind us. I gotta still throw a shirt on, I gotta still eat my meal, and then we'll be fucking, we will be out of here for chest days, so. Hit a like, hit the subscribe button. If you guys enjoy, seriously, let me know down in the comments below. It really, I really appreciate it. And uh, stay tuned because we're about to go hit an absolute lethal, grimy annihilation of a chest day. So, so since we live up in Canada, uh, this is what the surprise we woke up to this morning was. Oh, sick fuck. Yeah, I would rather have AIDS. Now before I forget and start recording the other exercises for you guys, I'm going to give you guys the rep scheme so you could actually give this workout a try for yourselves. So as you guys just seen, we did the cable chest flies, we did a set of 15, increase the weight, 25, increase the weight, 15, increase the weight, 10, increase the weight, top set of 6. Repeat that rep scheme 
for the exercise that we're just supposed to do right now. So, and then the next one that we're gonna be doing, you guys will see obviously as the video gets further ahead, but we're gonna be doing decline bench today too. So stay tuned. Hope you guys are enjoying the workout so far and uh, let's get absolutely filthy with this shit. Your demons drag me close to hell. I can feel them. I can feel them pull me down. I'm just gonna give out. I'm just gonna give out. <laughs> fuck. So I'm gonna give you a basic rundown on how we actually ramp up to our top set. So you guys should all know right now. I, I myself, I could bench like 365. Okay. But check this out. So I literally, I'm just gonna start right here with basically, you know, just a nice warm up set. Get used to the groove. Get used to the weight or whatever. And uh, basically, the first set that we're gonna be doing is we're gonna start off with a really light set of 15. So basically, bang it out. Feel the weight. Feel like the bar path and all that kind of shit. And then you're gonna slowly ramp up. So our sets here today are actually gonna be a four by six. So we're gonna slowly, slowly ramp up to basically a very hard top set. And like that top set should feel like you're getting under a weight that genuinely feels like you're gonna get absolutely every single bone in your body crushed to absolute fucking powder. So you wanna feel that overload and you wanna feel like you're gonna literally die. This is the kind of weight that you're gonna be picking. Like I said, I could bench 365, but I'm literally starting off with 95 pounds. And then after our top set of the four by six or whatever is done, then we're gonna cut whatever that weight that we use for the last set of six in half by 50%. And we're gonna basically bang it out for an AMRAP. So I hope you guys learned a little bit from that. So the reason behind like wanting to ramp up very slowly is basically save the amount of energy that's left in our tank after basically excruciating our entire body during those excruciating, I don't even know if that's the right word. You know me, I'm a high school dropout, so my vocabulary is not immaculate. So we're gonna be doing this and we just wanna reserve as much energy in the tank as we can for the last set because that's gonna be the hardest set of the workout. So I'm gonna give you guys a reason why I don't fully lock out for my movement uh, because I know in my last video I actually got like hella attacked for it. So this is bodybuilding, this isn't powerlifting. We're not, we're not pushing weight just to see the number, okay? We're actually gonna be fully exerting the muscle every single rep that we execute. So with that being said, we don't wanna complete a full lockout because your muscles lose tension and basically that's just not the way we're gonna be training right now. We wanna basically maximize the amount of blood that's going to our muscle right now. So that's why we're basically doing half to three quarter reps. When you're tired, like what Todd said on the last video, if you guys remember, um, or if you guys even watched that video, if you haven't, uh, it's literally the previous video that we just, uh, that I just uploaded. So go, go give that a watch if you want. But um, basically he gave a brief explanation on why we don't fully lockout. When you're going for max reps, yeah, there's definitely a time and a place to implement, you know, like a full lockout. Let's say we're doing a set of 50 and you get to like rep 30 and you gotta take a break and you don't wanna re-rack the weight. Then you're gonna lock out and then you're gonna continue to bust out those last, you know, 20, 18 reps or whatever you have left in the tank. So that's basically why we don't fully lock out because we don't want the full rep. We're going for maximum blood here. So that's basically the gist of it. Hope you guys, you know, understand that and, uh, you know, Implement it man, try it out. You might like it, you might hate it. Me personally, I've been definitely enjoying it a little bit more than you know my old power building style. So hey, to each their own, everything works for each individual. So this might solely not work for you, definitely works for me. So give it a try. Like I said, you guys are gonna love this and yeah.
Yeah, the circle got some and dice, now I can't levitate Fuck, I'm a space sacrifice, see the great love I bleed while I meditate Seeking out elevate, head to the ceiling, they sealing my energy dry That yeah, shit gon' make you my enemy, dog with no god, I gon' snort you like ketamine lines Kill you like beetle, no let it be, 70 seconds that you get alive Get out the cop and I'm trippin', I'm stopping, I'm thinking about robbing a bank